Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic the geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. The talk you're about to hear was recorded live at one of the featured Ignite events around the world. How uh, architecture has changed and kind of some of the architecture that you'll see in Reno and a lot of the projects that you're gonna see you're gonna be very familiar with. So let's give it up for Don Clark from Conexus. So before I start, I don't have that cute factor and I do look slutty in a short skirt. <laughs> okay, this is a quick dissertation on what we build in Reno. I love this. Find the best homes in Con Ranch with our help. So this is what we build in Reno. What do we build here? This is what people say we should build. Look at that entrance. Look at stucco burger, you know, McMansions. Now this is a house that's in Reno. So this is also what we build in Reno, but nobody talks about it. You know, this is welcome. Welcome to what a view can look like. I like that. Welcome to what what a piece of architecture can look like. This is a house. So this first series is just houses. This is a house in Hidden Valley. This is a remodel of a of a typical ranch house that we did. Um, and the biggest thing I was afraid of was that the neighbors were going to hate it. But it's become their favorite house, and it's, it's actually, they love this in the neighborhood. This is a house going up right now. You can see some of the construction that's going on. This is in the middle of Reno, too. This is what we can build in Reno. You know, we, 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 get, it, we get sold this bill of goods. Uh, we got to have these tan stucco safe things, yet we can build this. This is one of my favorites. This is for a little old lady whose house burnt down in the Colin Fire. And so she had one of the typical stucco things. She was at the very top. And one of my favorite statements she said was, I used to think I loved my house. And now she loves what she's getting. So this is what we build in shopping centers, right? Look at the setting that this, this strip center has. You know, this is, this is what we build. This is what we accept. This is what we let people impose on us is where we spend our lives. So, well, and then there's, this, there's what we can do. This is, a, this is a little project we did. And even then, they got afraid because we designed, you can see, four apartments to go on top. Wouldn't it be nice to have four apartments on top of every little thing that we build down around here, down in Midtown and down? This is what we can build in Reno. So this is another shopping. This was built two years, or designed two years before the Summit Mall went in. And the developer stopped. This is actually down, down where Arrow Creek starts because he was afraid nobody would rent it. So this is actually a, a little, uh, this is actually a whole town we did in Dayton. It was, was talking about the West. You can't see the bottom, but that's what a where, where Walmart could look like. These are warehouses. The, you know, this is a this is a this is a club. Welcome to the West West Street Market. Yes, when we designed that, we did ask for shade in the middle. <laughs> and once again, oh, I don't know if we should do that. And so you know, one day we'll get shade in the middle, and it'll be a more active place. And things are coming downtown, so this is good. And then housing. This is multifamily housing, and this isn't cheap housing. This is what people say. This is really good stuff. Welcome to what we really accept is what people impose on us. So it's, it's kind of deadening. So this is another project we designed that it's, you know, it's stalled with the economy, but this is other housing that you can do. You know, this is something also in Reno. This is something that we're designing for here. Welcome to what, what we can build in Reno. We need to demand this stuff. This is the, the old J.C. Penney's building on First and Sierra. So we designed this with an atrium in the middle and housing above. It, it didn't get built again, the economy crunched it. But welcome to how you activate some of these old buildings. This is what we can do here in Reno. This is the old uh, Redfield Mansion on Mount Rose Street. This, this is the, how we're doing some townhomes. So this will be starting construction pretty soon. And then we're still honoring the old mansion, but we're taking something and doing something new. This is, welcome to what we can build in Reno. Welcome to Reno. So this is another mixed, this is three different housing projects on the block that I can't tell you about. Welcome to Reno. We can have this stuff here. It's in other cities. Why can't we have this here? So we need to be demanding this stuff. So then there's the offices. This is actually, these are literally on the website is Class A office space. Have any of you ever been in a Class A office space? I bet you it wasn't in Reno. <laughs> but this is what people are told. Well, this is a project we did 20 years ago. Sean, who's speaking later, was a kid, and I was, his dad was the, the CEO. So I did that in Reno 20 years ago. So 
The stuff you saw before is what came after. This is a project we did in, in South Meadows, actually, that won huge regional design awards. And what the, what the neighbors, and what they did, is they painted it back tan. So I have a guy in my office who has a ran on beige. This is my, this, these are other projects that we've designed for, this is my old office, the old Midtown Market stuff, and I did that, it was a junkyard. Um, this is an old hotel downtown we're converting. This is a building at the end of Plymouth Street, and this is something else we're building for downtown. This is some other uh, projects. This is a, a shade structure out in the Truckee River. That's here in Reno, just a little you know, amphitheater in place for shade. This is what a casino could have been. This is up in uh, just 10 miles outside of Truckee. That's it. Welcome to Arena. <laughs>